And right now he seems to have lost control of his legs. And this is worrying. Oh, and he's starting to slow. Oh, goodness me. This is a horrible sight. Jonathan Brownlee has lost it now and has staggered to a stop at the side of the course. And Alistair's stopped to help him along. And Alistair is going to try and carry his brother home. Unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable scenes in Cozumel. The Brownlee brothers arm in arm. But it's not by way of celebration. Henry Schumann's celebrating. He's going to win this race in Cozumel out of nowhere. But we have to be concerned about the health of Jonathan Brownlee. And they're not even on the final stretch yet. Schumann wins in Cozumel. The brothers are coming home arm in arm to finish in second and third. But Johnny can hardly stand. And Alistair is having to drag him across the line and pushing him home, pushing him home for second. Johnny finishes in second. Goodness me, what an incredible conclusion here in Cozumel. I've never seen anything like that anywhere in world sport. Worrying scenes all round. Him at all, and there's the skewer. Oh my goodness, he's less than 50 meters from the finishing line, and it looks like he is overheated. The skewer back down, and here that is unbelievable. Tacconi is going to pass him on the blue carpet. Luciana Tacconi is going to claim gold for Argentina, and here comes it looks like the Italian is going to go through the skewer as well. This is an unbelievable finish. It is Lescure just getting across the line in third spot. That was a gutsy performance. It was nearly 100 degrees temperature here in Hatoko. Tacconi takes gold, Uccellari silver, and you can see there an empty podium in third as Lescure has headed off to the medical. He's fine, but not able to make it to the awards podium. And here comes Gomez. That's the move that I thought we would see. Gomez, 400 meters to go. Johnny is not letting him get away. It's men there. Here we go. Here's the stick from Johnny Brownlee, and can Gomez go with him? He is making a move, you cannot believe this race. Guys on the other side of the, of the road, athletes are stopping to cheer, look at that. Unbelievable, Johnny Brownlee on his toes. Javier Gomez is not letting him away, this thing is not over. This is not over, Javier Gomez is not letting him get away. We're gonna see one more push. Did Johnny go too early? It is gonna be onto the blue carpet, and who's got the last gear? This is the greatest world championships we have ever seen. Johnny Bradley, Javier Gomez, 100 meters to go. They're side by side coming down. Yeah, look at them coming through. Gomez, Bradley, Gomez, Bradley. This could be like the Olympic Games, unbelievable. And Gomez takes it, unbelievable. Johnny Bradley. That was a repeat of the women's race at the Olympic Games. Unbelievable. Mario Mola will be third. I got to go down and interview these guys and have a heart attack. Julie Moss, the former college student from Los Ojos, California, had moved ahead of Pat Hines. Night fell in Kailua Kona and exhausted Julie Moss was clearly in trouble. Now just a few hundred yards from the finish line. Moss struggled trying to balance as if on an earthquake. Her worst fears were realized as Kathleen McCartney runs past her into the first place, just yards from the finish. Unsure of her position and what had happened, McCartney had to be told she'd won by race volunteers at the finish. Moments later, Julie Moss crawled to the finish line in one of the most memorable moments in the history of ABC's wide world of sports. Millions of Americans watched mesmerized by Moss's courage and determination.